Daryl Brooks trial, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Do you think the judge in this case is being too lenient on Daryl Brooks? That's my question to you. Because I'm reading those comments of, I watched this trial live just like everyone else in the Law and Crime Network. I'm in the comment section, the, even though the comment section is going pretty fast, but I see that a lot. The judge is being too lenient on Daryl Brooks. She need to bring the gavel down on Daryl Brooks. So my question to you is, I'm going to I'm gonna answer the same question, but for my question to you, do you think she's being too soft on Daryl Brooks because she had done more to control his behavior in the courtroom? That's my question to you. Now, here's my answer to that. It's kind of a long form answer, but here's my answer. I'm going to try to answer this. Well, it's not a question of whether he's guilty or not, right? I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think the state is doing a good job. The prosecutors have done a good job so far presenting the evidence to the jury. I liken myself to the 13th juror, so I'm watching this as if I'm a juror. And I think they're doing a great job. I think the evidence really in this case speaks for itself. That's why I like following these trials because each trial is different. This trial, yes, he's, in, he's, in, he's, tight, he's entitled to his due process. But at the end of the day, the evidence is showing that he's guilty. And um, so with that guilty verdict, he has a right to appeal his guilt, his guilty verdict, his um, conviction. He has a right to appeal. He has a certain amount of days to appeal, to file his appeal, to go through the appeals process. With that being said, what can he appeal? Well, is was there anything in the trial that violated his constitutional rights to a fair trial? Was there anything there that was prejudicial to the jury? Was there anything there that violated, like I said, his constitutional rights? These are things that he can appeal. And we see that with Scott, the Scott Peterson case. You know, he, he, he's appealing. Um, he went through the appeals process. And uh, we saw that with Tex MacGyver out of Georgia. He won his appeal. Now he's going back to trial. So this is why... Daryl, that's this is why the judge is she's not being lenient on him. She's actually doing her job. She's doing her job and she's making sure that he gets a fair trial. That's what she's doing. She wants him in the courtroom. Why? Because he, he can't come back and say, Well, I wasn't in the courtroom. That might have been prejudicial to the jury. Well, she can also show show that in the case, it shows that she's doing everything possible for Daryl Brooks to get a fair trial. So that is my answer to that. What say you? Do you think um, she's do you think she's giving him a fair trial? I think he's getting a fair trial and I think he has the perfect judge here. So that's my answer to that. What say you? Drop a comment below. Take care.